In this video, we continue our discussion of functions and see how we can approximate a nonlinear function by a linear function locally. Consider a function whose domain is r and whose range is also r, and whose graph is shown below. Think about why this function is nonlinear. And let's take a point x1. Now the question is, near this point, can we approximate this nonlinear function by a straight line? What kind of straight line can we think about? We can draw the tangent. What's the slope of this? So if we draw the tangent like that, what's the slope of the tangent? It's the derivative of the function. It's f prime evaluated at x1. What's the equation of the tangent? It's f of x1 plus f prime of x1 times x minus x1. We can see this just from the geometry. So near x1, we can approximate the nonlinear function by f of x is approximately equal to f of x1 plus f prime of x1 times x minus x1. This is called linearization of the nonlinear function near a point. So we approximate a nonlinear function by a constant plus linear function near a point. So for example, near a point x2, like that, we can approximate it by the tangent there, and then whose equation is f of x2 plus f prime of x2 times x minus x2. So we get the idea there. Now, what if the domain of the function is not the reals, but some vector space, Rn? So consider our example from the last video, uh, f of x equals x1 squared plus x2 squared. What's the graph of this function? Well, the graph of this function is a surface that actually looks like a bowl. And if we take a point x star and see how we can approximate this bowl function by a linear function near x star, that linear function is not now a straight line, but it's a plane. So the approximation of f near x star is not a straight line like it was in the 1D case, but it's a plane. And this plane is called the tangent plane, just like the line was called the tangent line. So what's the equation of this plane? It's f of x star plus the partial derivative of f with respect to x1 evaluated at x star times x1 minus x star plus the partial derivative with respect to x2 times x2 minus x2 star. So the linearization is f of x is approximately f of x star plus df of x star. We'll see in a minute what that is. And this df of x star is a 1 by 2 matrix consisting of the partial derivatives df by df by dx1 evaluated at an x star and df by dx2 evaluated at x star. And this df is called the derivative of the function. And you see how the linearization is very similar looking to the linearization for scalar functions. 